met Pat in prison in January 1990 in Chelsea Prison. Uh, he'd just been brought back from Gibraltar, where he was uh, um, extradited, is the word? Um, he was yeah, brought back to England yeah. anyway. I was in there for a robbery, or a robbery charge that was eventually dropped. Um, I was into keen into bodybuilding and I didn't really know what to do. Pat was a bodybuilder. He basically took me under his wing, showed me how to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we became friends. Right. Uh, I stayed in touch with Pat when I was eventually out released from prison in April 91. Pat was then serving a 10 year sentence, which he got knocked down to eight in appeal. Um, I stayed in touch with him through my prison sentence and through his prison sentence. And when he was released on parole in the summer of 94, he come out, we were still good friends, we started seeing a lot of each other, getting involved in just doing, you know, what his friends do. And uh, he eventually had trouble with his girlfriend because they'd been apart for so many years, they were living in a cramped conditions in Basildon. And he uh, asked me if I could move into my house, my flat, I had a large three bedroom flat. Pat just basically said he'd like to move in for a couple of weeks. Uh, so he could sort his life out with Sarah because they were buying a bungalow and they would eventually move into that and he'd be okay to move out, you know, and then him and Sarah would be okay. Right. 